Hi, you guys. Welcome back to the channel, The Ninth Cup, where my readings focus on your soul's destiny and everything you can do to embody your soul's purpose. So it is Monday magic, magic Monday, however you want to say it. <laughs> and I just want to come to you with a few messages from spirit. Um, earlier, I was channeling um, the word as well as everything surrounding accountability. So for those of you who have been trying to make you know, really conscious changes in your lives and bring forth some very intentional changes and shifts. I mean, things have kind of shifted out of our control anyway this past year um, or all of 2020. But, um, you know, as it relates to how you see yourself, how you manifest, how you raise your own vibration, um, I just was getting a lot of, um, yeah, just downloads about accountability and what that means for you. Um, you know, accountability takes on different definitions depending on the aspect of your life and, you know, where you are in your journey and, you know, what's going on in any given moment. So for today, Magic Monday, I wanted to pull some cards regarding uh, what spirit would like to let us know regard regarding accountability and um, what you can expect. So I have three pals here. First one is from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. The second one is the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. And the third one is um, Angel Answers. So I'm going to get um, a few cards from each pile um, with the wisdom of the oracle it's just going to be like current energies um, what spirit really wants you to pay attention to we have the yin um, and then the second pile will be like any blockages things that you need to um, <clears throat> focus on and then expectations slash um, guidance from spirit all right so from the first pile so far we have yin which is receiving that's divine feminine energy it's a two um, so yeah definitely balance give and take being able to receive and know when you need to receive versus give, you know, so that goes back to that intention. The next two that flipped out are clean it up. That's a 21, which reduces to a three. So three is, you know, I consider like mind, body, and spirit, or like you, your higher self and um, spirit. And then we have regeneration 46, which is a 10, which is, um, you know, culmination tens are like completion in the tarot. So um, yeah, so here we have yin, clean it up and regeneration. So like I was saying about accountability and making changes, um, this yin energy is slowing down, not being so much of a go-getter. And I'm not talking about like forgetting about your goals and, you know, not being ambitious. I'm talking about, <clears throat> excuse me, slowing it down and allowing your body to rest, allowing for things to integrate, um, allowing yourself time to reflect on some lessons that have been presented to you, but maybe you've just kind of shoved it aside. And so the same obstacles and challenges keep coming up. Well, in this, if you put yourself in this yin energy, okay, in a position of receiving, um, and that's just not just physical, like receiving download, receiving guidance from spirit, uh, receiving synchronicities, all the kind of signs and messages that spirit will give to us when there is something that we need to pay attention to or something that's maybe heading our way. And with this clean it up, um, it kind of goes off of what I was saying about slowing down, like kind of clean up what you are prioritizing. There could be too many things on your to-do list in too short of a space of time. So you're like taxing yourself um, too thin. You know, you're, you're tiring yourself for reasons that are not maybe the best. Um, it could be things too superficial or going after things out of competition or just the ego really driving you instead of it being, you know, from the place of your spirit. And, you know what's really in your soul's destiny and regeneration again um, yeah once you kind of I, I think this is beautiful energy it's kind of um, sequential here uh, so with this regeneration it's again after you slow down you take an inventory you've reflected on um, some things that you can let go and things that you're really grateful that you've received you can allow yourself to regenerate to really um, uh, re renew, renew your spirit, uh, renew your mind and then of course obviously your body you know with getting rest with eating uh, properly eating more um, regularly I'm getting that some of you might not even be eating like regular balanced meals because you're just like too busy or you're too frantic you're too unsettled to even sit down and eat like a really healthy nourishing meal so with this regeneration card it's kind of coming after you've done all the like preliminary work you know internally as well as externally maybe some relationships that need to be um, let go of or you need to put boundaries in place things like that is what I'm getting. So this is what spirit kind of wants you to focus on currently. Let's see what blockages you may be um, facing. This is the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. Patience and planning, yeah. So you could be um, experiencing some challenges with just allowing things to flow into your life 
wanting things to kind of come about as you want it. But you remember divine timing is really a thing. It's not always when we want it. It's when it's meant to come in the material harvest. Yeah. So, um, you all could be working towards bringing about this material harvest, manifesting things physically into your life. But, um, you know, there could be some blockages from you obtaining that. Like what I was saying with this first pile with having too much on your plate or being um, motivated by the wrong things, things of the ego. And not that's, you know, truly what you want, things that really ignite you from the inside out. Um, I did the moon placement in Leo a couple of days ago because the moon was placed in Leo for the past few days. And with that, you know, Leo being ruled by the sun, the sun rules our heart and solar plexus in the human body. So I spoke about, you know, really, you know, clearing out the things that, you know, really were, was not serving us anymore. Things that were heartbreaking, things that kept us in a low vibration um, so that we can move from a place of being courageous and being loving and being nurturing and receptive, everything that's in that solar plexus area and, you know, moving from our heart center and not so much and being in our head, not that the head is not a good thing, but you know, the heart allows us to tap into the soul's destiny, right? And not be so consumed by the things that are in our material world. So again, patience and planning and material harvest, these could be some blockages or some challenge, some areas that you have challenges around and spirit will like you to know that the light is coming in. So this is the sun card in the, uh, in this, uh, Oracle deck here. It's called light, but you know, it's pretty much the sun card. And I, I think this is such beautiful energy because kind of like how the first pile here, the, um, like current energies was sequential. I think this is also a sequential, you know, as being patient and giving yourself that plan to bring about this material harvest. And then you can kind of receive abundance, you know, the light, the sun card and the tarot is considered the happiest card of the deck. And it's so funny. I was just talking about Leo because Leo is ruled by the sun. And here we are with the sun card. So it's bringing about total um, abundance and then also sh uh, shedding light on any shadow space or shadow tendencies that you might be struggling with. All right. So these are kind of like the blockages or like the, the things that you really need to work on. Um, as far as like bringing about like more clarity and abundance in your life. Um, this first pile was like, you know, what spirit is kind of, bringing to you, right? Kind of presenting to you that, um, kind of like things that you can focus on. And then these are like the things like in your way or like the areas of your life that you could focus these energies on. Hope it's making sense for you all. And it's helpful. Now let's see, um, what the angel answers have to say as far as like where you are with accountability and, you know, really basking in your own magic. We have within the next few months, Okay, so there's some of you who who are planning, who have devised a plan, but you're feeling a little impatient. Spirit is here to say whatever it is you're trying to bring about could be within the next few months. Um, if, if it's like, for, could be, a, if this is a general read, it could be like a million things, but you know, maybe some of you that are um, really working on getting healthier, getting in shape, you could really achieve your results in the next few months. Finally, we have compromise or no, not finally next up because I'm going to get three compromise here. So compromise with the people that are around you. And I just got intuitively that this is also about compromising with yourself, not being so hard on yourself. Um, you know, really reparent that inner child, like reward yourself when you've done things that were really tough to do. And, you know, when you've achieved the, the goal that you set for the day or the week or the month, however you're structuring it, um, put some rewards in place. You know, how do you want to feel happy and you know how do you want to feel uplifted i think you know treats and little gifts and prizes it really just isn't for kids you know you can definitely make it um tailored to, for you you know in your adult life so with this compromise it's like you know learning how to give and take with yourself as well as the people around you and then this could also be you know speaking to boundaries as well for those of you who need to put boundaries in place finally we have perfect timing so spirit wants you to know that whatever you're going through it's perfect timing you know whether it is you know, really difficult or not, or, you know, maybe you are, some of you are really manifesting things in your life, but you're seeing that, you know, with the manifestations, you have to let go of many things. Um, timing is everything. And I think I did uh, touch on divine timing earlier in the reading that, you know, we're all on different timelines and things are meant to happen um, as it's meant to, according to our own, um, you know, like soul blueprint, you know, the journey that we're on. Of course, we're given free will, but you'll notice that, you know, some things are just kind of out of our hands. It's really in the, um, 
it's out of the physical plane. It's really in the subtle plane. It's in the, the higher realm. Um, but Spirit is saying that what you are doing, what you can conceptualize here in the 3D, it is in perfect timing. So don't think that you're behind or, you know, you need to be following someone else's, you know, strategic plan for you. You do what is intuitively uh, good for you, what feels good. All right. So this is what I have for you guys for Magic Monday. Um, I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next reading. Um, I think later this week I might come to you all with... Um, I'm not sure what I want to do. I don't want to touch yet again on North Node readings. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I might do North Node readings because I'm going to do those monthly. And I think I um, the last ones were in November. So yeah, I'm going to get start through the North Node readings for you guys. And that should be up by the end of this week. And yeah, that's all I have. Thank you guys so much. Be sure to thrive. Bye.